If you're looking for the best home speaker system, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Sonos Multi-Room System. It's facing more competition than ever, but few multi-room offerings are as complete or as pleasurable to live with as Sonos. Sonos as a system has two big advantages, breadth of choice and simplicity of use. In the time its rivals have been playing catch up, Sonos has launched a whole family of products and got on side with a long list of streaming services and added lossless audio support. Not to mention nailing the usability aspect of multi-room. Combining a broad range of accomplished products with the most substantial selection of streaming services and the most pleasant and complete user experience, Sonos remains one of the best multi-room options. The announcement that the company will end support for older devices due to the Sonos S2 software update poses questions around longevity, not least as it was previously a class leader when it came to long-term device support. But the devices no longer supported are on the old side, and it's an issue rivals will likely face too. For those dipping their toes into wireless waters for the first time, we'd still recommend Sonos products. Moving on to the next at number two with Audio Pro Multi-Room. The Audio Pro range might be small compared to some multi-room rivals. There's no soundbar, and the app is a little lacking. But for sound quality at the price, it's hard to beat. And the company continues to add new products to the family, such as the recent add-on C10M Calavan, even if not all recent additions have been quite as impressive. The affordable, puck-like Link 1 Hub turns your hi-fi and other add-on speakers into a simple multi-room system, while the larger Audio Pro offerings tend to deliver great sound and are easy to use. And new for 2021 is a fully portable outdoor speaker, the 5. As much as anything else, your chosen path for migration to multi-room should be about whose speakers you want around your house. For us, Audio Pro makes that particular decision admirably simple. The number three position is held by Denon, he OS multi-room system. Denon might be better known for its AV receivers, but it also offers sound bars, subwoofers, amplifiers, and wireless speakers. What's more, all of that kit can be connected up through Denon's he OS platform. Since launching, he OS has been upgraded with support for high-res audio and additional support for streaming services such as Amazon Music. You also get more Alexa skills, allowing you to control playback with vocal commands. Sound is smooth, spacious, and replete with insight. And while Audio Pro's offering just edges it on sound quality, the He OS makes a superb all-rounder, and it offers a wider choice of pick and mix components. Next at number four, we have Sen ASER 5.1, four-channel Ambio soundbar. Another standalone soundbar, the Sennheiser Ambio uses technology including Dolby Atmos to mimic a 5.1, five-channel sound system for your home. The speaker has 13 high-end drivers, a built-in equalizer, and Ambio 3D technology to allow users to get the best experience possible. The only real potential issue with the Ambio is its design which, while it looks attractive, is large and bulky enough that it may not sit well in front of a television. This makes mounting the soundbar pretty essential for the best experience, but the sturdy design looks great in most spaces once you've found the best setup. The number five position is held by LG Q5 Echoa IR 3.1 2 wire Li SS Compact Soundbar. A tiny surround soundbar with Dolby Atmos, the LG Q5 Eclair is the ideal purchase for those who are limited on space but still want strong sound from their TV. As indicated by the name, the Eclair is a small pastry-shaped speaker that can be perched on a surface without taking up more room than is needed. When testing, we were surprised at how much power the tiny 320W speaker could manage, but slightly disappointed with the comparative size and heft of the wireless subwoofer. For context, the soundbar weighs 3.4 ohms, while the sub weighs 16.9 ohms. If you can find space for both, then you'll get premium audio in a minute package, and owners of a newer LG TV will get even more to enjoy with AI Sound Pro compatibility. The number six position is dominated by Sonos Arc Sound BR, the ultimate Dolby Atmos soundbar. The Sonos Arc is an amazing speaker that mimics the 3D audio benefits of a true surround sound system in a single, great-looking package. 
This saves space around your living area, but also means you won't have to deal with trailing wires. TruePlay technology allows the soundbar to adapt its output to the space it's in, so placing it in a smaller space will get you a different result than if the speaker was placed in a large, cavernous room. It can also sense when it has been mounted, adjusting the bass levels to prevent any impact. The soundbar also works as a smart speaker so you can control your home with inbuilt Alexa and Google Assistant. Control your TV sound without scrambling around for the remote, using your voice instead. And if you want a multi-room experience, you can connect other Sonos speakers to form a wider system. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Nakamichi Shockwave Pro 7.1 CH400W45 soundbar with 8 wireless subwoofer. Nakamichi maybe sounds familiar to older audio enthusiasts. It was one of the biggest manufacturers of old-school cassette tape decks during the 1970s and 1980s. The company was founded in 1972, and during the first two decades, it was one of the most popular audio brands. After the introduction of digital audio, Nakamichi wasn't such a big name anymore. The company wasn't shut down, and they managed to survive by making car audio systems. In 2016, Nakamichi made a great comeback to the American market. A new branch of Nakamichi Audio was opened in the US, and their only area of expertise are home theater systems. Their first product was Nakamichi Shop Wave Pro 7.1 Bluetooth soundbar with a subwoofer and two rear speakers, and it was a big success. After this one, they made three more systems, Nakamichi Pro 7.1 with DTS-X support, Elite 7.2 with DTS-X support, and Ultra 9.2 with DTS-X support. 7.1 Pro offers crisp, clean sound with pretty good soundstage, and nice separation between left and right channels. It delivers an immersive listening experience, especially when watching movies. Music doesn't sound that good. It is clean and pretty loud, but you won't get enough bass with that 8-inch subwoofer. The frequency response of the system spans from 35Hz to 22Kg. Maximum SBL is 104B. RMS power is 150W. Peak 400W. On top of all this, you can choose between 6 EQ modes, movie, music, game, TV, sports, and night, or you can adjust bass and treble manually. You can also adjust the volume of each channel or turn off surround speakers. The number 8 position is held by Nakamichi Shockwave Elite 7.2 4CH800W soundbar system. Here comes another surround sound system from the highly praised Nakamichi Shockwave line. It's called Elita 7.2 4 and it's an upgraded version of the previously mentioned Shockwave 7.1 Pro. 2016. Besides the obvious upgrade of subwoofers instead of one, the system also has more inputs, longer and more comprehensive list of supported surround sound formats, a graded Bluetooth module, more reliable wireless connection between the soundbar and subwoofer, and an upgraded LED display, five-digit LED display instead of an array, LED lights. Considering the price and the performance, there's not much to complain about. You may not like the fact that only the subwoofers are wireless and surround modules have to be connected to the subwoofers, but you will have to live with it. The remote is one of the biggest highlights. It's backlit so you won't have any problems in the dark, and it allows you to control anything you can think of. There's a dedicated button for every single function. You can use it to select the source or the DSB mode to adjust the master volume, dim the LED display on your soundbar, you can even adjust the amount of bass and treble, adjust the volume level of each speaker, turn off the subwoofers, or make quick lip sync adjustments. Lip sync plus and lip sync. What? The remote is simply perfect. The system also supports higher learning features so you can use your TV remote to turn on slash off the system or to adjust the master volume. When it comes to performance, this system is almost flawless. Surround sound effects are powerful and immersive especially when playing standard 5.1 and 7.1 tracks. The bass is fast, accurate, and dynamic. That additional subwoofer really makes a difference and improves the realism. We were not impressed by height effects, but to be honest, we didn't really expect them to be extremely immersive or accurate. After all, the soundbar only simulates height effects. Next at number 9, we have Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2 4CH1000W soundbar system. Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2 4 is the biggest and most powerful system made by Nakamichi. Its combined power output is 1000W. 
The system is priced under $1,300, which is not cheap, but can be considered quite affordable considering the performance and the amount of realism it offers. This is, by far, the most amazing wireless surround sound system at this price point. Since Ultra 9.2, 4 comes with the same sound bar as Elite 7.24. These two systems have the same inputs, the same features, and they support the same surround sound formats. We are just going to list all the features and focus our attention on the differences. If you want to find out more about the features, read our review about Elite 7.24. The biggest differences between the two systems are larger subwoofers, 10 in drivers instead of 8 in drivers, and two additional rear speakers. The remote has some minor changes when it comes to butt layout, but all the butts are still there and the remote is still one of the biggest highlights. So, you can still use it to select the source, select the ESP sound modes, adjust the volume of each speaker, adjust bass and treble levels, or make lip sync adjustments. The most important difference between Ultra 9.2.4 and Elite 7.2.4 is performance related. Ultra comes with larger subwoofers and two additional surround speakers rear surround. The Elite was really good. It was immersive, realistic, lifelike. But Ultra Ultra is even better. Those two huge bass modules will add some crazy rumble to every explosion and make you feel like you're in the movie. It gets very close to the cinema experience. This system completely deserves our recommendation. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Samsung Harman Kardon HWQ9DR. Samsung is one of the leaders when it comes to wireless surround sound systems. They have already introduced more than a dozen different wireless systems and you can find two of them on this list. HWQ line is created in cooperation with Harman Kardon, which is, by the way, Samsung's daughter company. Most of the Samsung wireless surround sound systems are simple soundbars slash subwoofer combos that only simulate surround sound but their flagship models come with additional surround speakers and can be considered true surround sound systems. HWQ90R is Samsung's flagship wireless surround sound system for 2019. This is a 7.14 system. It simulates object-based surround sound and it comes with wireless subwoofer and wireless surround speakers. The number of necessary cables is minimized and the performance is quite amazing. The biggest problem is the price. Q90R is priced slightly under $1,500. Another problem is the fact that it's optimized for Samsung QLED TV. It will work fine with other TV, but you won't be able to experience all the benefits and use all the features. HWQ90R delivers surprisingly immersive performance. Nine front firing, four up firing, and two side firing drivers, combined with that eight-inch subwoofer, will envelop you with sound from all directions. The watching experience is very lifelike. Even those object-based sound effects are pretty good. It's still a simulation, and the sound is not perfectly directed, but it's much better than any other soundbar without firing drivers. The adaptive sound mode is a great feature, too. It analyzes the content and makes the adjustments to make your watching experience more interesting. So, if you are watching a basketball game, it will emphasize the audience and send that audio to your rear speakers. It will make you feel like you're in the arena. Also, if you're watching something at low volume, it will emphasize the mids while reducing the bass in order to make the dialogues more intelligible. The only thing that may need some upgrade is the subwoofer. Adding a larger subwoofer would make the movie watching experience even more immersive, but we don't know what kind of effect would that have on the midrange or production, especially on the dialogues. With the existing subwoofer, all the speakers work in perfect synergy and deliver very reliable wireless performance. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the coming video notification.